Hey all I, Rick Sky here, and I'm back again with another DJI Phantom 2 tutorial video. Now this is the DJI Phantom 2 that I put together. Uh, you can check the link within this video's description. I've got 4K video, FPV, quick disconnect prop guards, the works. But when I built this, and I flew it the first time, and this obviously is the version 2.0 of the uh, Phantom 2, uh, when I flew it the first time with the upgraded remote that comes with the uh, version 2.0, you know, the one with the little gimbal knob in the top left, when I would scroll with the knob one way or the other way, it didn't matter which way, the camera would always return to about a 45 degree angle after I, uh, after I let go of the knob. And that was quite annoying because I didn't want the, uh, the camera to return. I wanted it to stay where it was when I uh, when I let go of the knob. So if I let go of the knob facing straight down, I wanted the camera to continue to film straight down. Now it was kind of a tro it was a troublesome problem to troubleshoot, but the solution is very simple, and I'm going to explain it within this video. So now I used a Mac, so I was using the Phantom Assistant software. Now if you uh, if you did what I did, you downloaded the most current version of Phantom Assistant, and I'm using a Mac, so it was version 3.8 Phantom 2 Assistant software. Now when you do that and you go into your firmware and you update everything, there's a glitch, at least with the software that I had, version 3.8 on the Mac, to where it showed the, uh, the firmware version for the Zenmuse Gimbal H3-3D as being up to date. So what I had to do, I had to uninstall Phantom 2 Assistant version 3.8 software, and then I had to uh, download and, and install version 3.6 of Phantom Assistant software. And when I had 3.6 on there, and then I went in and you know obviously plugged my my Phantom 2 into the USB port. It was then showing that there was updated firmware available for the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal. So I updated the firmware, and after updating the firmware, the, uh, the gimbal would function like it should with the upgraded remote. So if I, if I made it face all the way down, it would, uh, it would stay there when I let go. Or if I positioned it at any angle, for that matter, it would stay there when I let go of the knob. Now there is an additional step and what that step is, is after you update the firmware, then put your Phantom 2 Assistant version 3.8 back on there. Remove your 3.6 and put your 3.8 3 back on your Mac. And then go into the uh, 3.8 software and you can calibrate the uh, Zenmuse H3 3D so you can set the maximum downward position and the maximum upright position as well as control the speed of the tilt. And I've got my other video, and you can see a link to it within this video's description, or you can check the link within this video's description rather than it's there, or you can click the annotation that's popping up right now. And within that video, I explain how to fine tune the, uh, the up and down, and then also the speed at which it scrolls up and down of the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal. So I hope uh, hope this video is of value. I know that, uh, well, this is without a doubt my favorite quadcopter so far. And it's not just because I built it, but it's because it works so well. So it was easy to get the, uh, to get the parts that you can find within this video's description and put together and really have a very rewarding FPV and uh, gimbal stabilized video experience. So the best the best quadcopter that I've used to date without a doubt. And check out my videos. I've got a few now and thousands more coming soon so you'll be able to see how well this performs. And be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixcat. And y'all have a good day.